Hello and welcome to SourceCAD. In this quick video, I'll tell you about inserting maps in your drawing and about using those maps to create scaled drawings. So let's get started. So here we have a blank drawing and before we actually begin importing the map, I am going to change the unit. So for that, I'll type UN, the command alias for unit and then I'll change the length type to decimal. I'll leave it at decimal precision. Let's make it two decimal places. And in the insertion scale, I'm changing it to meters. Now with the rest of the settings unchanged, I'm gonna click on OK. And that's our unit setting. Now to insert the map, you need to go to insert tab right here. And from the set location option, which is here on the location panel, select from map. If you have the KMZ or KML file with you, you can use that as well. So you can just click on from file and import those files and AutoCAD will import data from those files. But if you don't have those and you directly want to use maps, then select from map. All right, so here we have the map. Now, this panel on the left may or may not be visible depending upon the settings, but if you have it, that's fine. If not, just click this arrow to bring it here. Now here we can make a search. So I'm going to search for New Delhi and press enter. All right, so we have locations which are, well, New Delhi. And here you can locate any place where you want to drop the marker, but right now I'm seeing this view in the road map kind of view. So I'll change it to the aerial view. So I'll go to this one, this option right here, and I'll change it to aerial. All right, so now that's our aerial map. So we can hide this panel now just to create room. And now I'm gonna zoom into this area. And here we have this piece of land right here, which is kind of empty. And we'll use this piece of land here for our drawing. So we just wanna make our drawing here. So I'm just going to drop our marker here. So I'll right click and I'll select drop marker here. So that's our base point. Now select next. And here you need to specify the GIS coordinate system. So in this case, we selected meter as the unit. So basically you need to select meter from the coordinate systems. Also, since we have lots of options to select from the meter unit, I will select the world Mercator meter. And in the time zone, I'm going to select GMT plus 530. Meter is the drawing unit. So that's that. Now click on next. And now you need to specify the point where you added your marker in the map. So I'm going to click anywhere here. And now that's going to be the point where I dropped my marker. Now we need to specify the north direction. So the north is pointing upwards as per the compass. So I'm going to use the same direction. So I'll click upwards. Any point here is fine. And there we have it. So we have the marker and here we have the map. So the map is also added. Now, if you zoom in, look at this, the map will change accordingly. And this map is completely scaled to your drawing. So you can use this to create scaled images. Now, before I actually make any kind of scaled drawing, I will check the length of a couple of these buildings here. So I'm going to select DI the distance command. And let's just start with this one. So here we have a square kind of building. So let's just click on this point And let's see, this length is approximately 33 meters. We are using meter here as the unit. So remember that. So here also, if you look at this area, I'm going to just click here. And then here, Now this length is approximately 70 meter. So that's 70. And well, we have plenty of room here, actually. So uh, this is like 93 or maybe 100, you can just say that this is 100. So we can make a pretty big building here. And I'm going to start by adding a rectangle. So I'll go to home and rectangle tool. I'll click at a point right here. And now at 80 comma 50 and enter. So there we have it. Now the rectangle is obviously horizontal. I'll just rotate this one. So I'll select it and rotate this is the base point and i'll just make it approximately parallel to the wall and i'm going to select it move and i'll move it close to this point right here so there we have it so this is the place where we'll be making things now 
you can customize this map as well right now if you zoom in or zoom out the resolution of map will change accordingly and obviously for this you need internet connection as well as for using the map you need to be logged into your account so right now as i'm already logged into my account as you can see here and that's why it's showing me the map but if you are not logged in it will prompt you with a message that you need to be logged in and you can just add your credentials to log in and then you'll be able to access the map now as i was mentioning we have this big map to work with but if you don't want that you just want to work with a smaller area and want to leave everything else then in that case you can go to geolocation tab and capture the area on which you want to work so i'm going to select capture area this one this option right here and i'll make a box which is larger than this one i want to add some objects from the vicinity as well so i'll just select this point and maybe here and the area is now captured now you can hide the rest of the map for that go to online map and from here select map off you can also select map road to convert this map into the road map which looks like this but since you have already captured the area here this won't change but if for some reason let's say you want to change this as well then you can select this boundary and delete this and look at this now it will show all the changes here similarly if you want a hybrid map which is combination of aerial as well as map the road map then you can select this and finally we'll select the map off but before that let's select aerial map so let's go to capture area click at a point and here we are the area is now captured and now we can hide rest of the map so i'll go to this map option and i'll select map off and rest of the map is off and we have our captured area which is just like an image right here inside autocad and we can easily work with this when you are done making changes you can simply select the boundary and get rid of this geolocation map as well and you can even convert this into 3d if you want to you can also remove the location marker here using this remove location option but before we actually do that let's just extrude this one and let's convert it into 3d so i'll select the command ext for extrude and i'll select this one and enter now let's add a height of maybe 12.9 that's the height of like three floors and press enter so now this one is extruded if you now go to this home icon you will be able to see the thickness here so height is added here and you can even change the visual style from here so maybe i'll just change it to shaded and now you can see the 3d drawing so here we are now i'm going to change it back to the top view so that we see it like this and again i'm going to change this one to 2d wireframe so that we have this from the 2d perspective now if you want to remove the map just select the boundary and press delete and the map is removed but we still have the location data if you want to get rid of that select remove location select yes and the location data is also gone so now we have this rectangle which is with respect to the map and we can now build our drawing on this so that's how you can use maps in autocad so i hope you found this video helpful if you have questions related to this let me know in the comment section and don't forget to share this video. I'll see you soon in another video.